Hey guys, what what are you doing? L Larry, why does Caesar have a camera? Oh, what I wanted to do the craft, so me and Caesar made an agreement so that uh, he can film and I can do the craft. Really? Th yeah. This ought to be good. Okay, well, do you realize, Caesar, do you know how to use the camera? <laughs> because you're kind of too close and you're even you're filming yourself. You're you're not even filming me and Larry. Oh, uh, this happened last time we filmed. That's right. Filmed. You're right, I remember that. Okay. Caesar, don't feel bad, but can you turn the camera around? Turn the camera around. There you go. Good job. There! Good job, Caesar. And look, we even have Millie to help. Because oh, Millie God, likes Millie. to Millie prefers to eat the crafts rather hey, than actually do the crafts. Down, Millie. Okay, Millie, you can't eat the crafts. Glue's not good for you. Yeah. Go Millie. lay down. Okay, so today, boys and girls, we've got some fun Christmas ornaments that you can make. We're going to make a pine cone Christmas tree. Look how sparkly that is. Isn't that sweet? And because we read the Little Blue Truck's Christmas, we're also going to make a Little Blue Truck Christmas ornament. Isn't that adorable? Now, um, the, the cars that we have for you at the library, they're not all Little Blue Trucks. It was quite challenging to find trucks at all. Um, but we do have a number of uh, cars and trucks and Jeeps that we have available for the craft kits at the Her Memorial Library if you want to stop by and pick one up to do this. And, of course, we have all the pine cones and everything you'll need to make this craft as well. So are you ready, Larry? Should we get started? Yes. How about you, Millie? Are you ready? You cannot eat the pine cones, okay? Okay. So what you're going to need to make the pine cone Christmas tree craft is obviously pine cones. And then you're going to need glitter stars. We have either silver or gold. You're going to need some sequins that we have here. I have everything sticking to me. You need some sequins. And you're going to need some paint. You're going to need some green paint and some white paint. And last but not least, you're going to need a red piece of ribbon or another color ribbon to hang your ornament with. Now this is a really fun craft to do. The first thing you need to do is to get your paint and your, um, and your pine cone. And so you just want to um, pour your paint into a plate or a bowl or if you have these handy little um, paint trays, you can use these. And just take your pine cone and you want to paint it all over. You want to get into each pine leaf. Let me move this pine cone out of the way. And you, you just really want to get in there good. If you miss and leave some brown, that's okay because, you know, um, if you look at a real pine tree, the branches are brown and you can see parts of them too. And you want to paint all the way down to the bottom. You want to get even the bottom leaves here. And as you go, kind of get the, the tops really good. And come all the way around and come inside. Using a smaller brush might be easier than a big foam brush. Um, just making sure that you get it all really good. Now this pine cone looks like it had some glitter on it, maybe from a previous craft we once did. And that's okay too. We're just going to paint right on over that. If you have scented pine cones, that will make your pine cone Christmas tree smell really yummy. Um, I, I do like that. But if you don't have the scented ones, that's okay too. Um, just do what you have. You can even go out in your yard if you still have pine cones left over from this past year in your yard. Go ahead and use those. Um, so these are really fun. And you can even use these for placeholders at Christmas time. Put people's names on them on the Christmas tree table if you don't want to use them as an ornament. Once you have it completely painted, then you have to let it dry. So that's very do, important. do, 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 do. That's right. We're going to let it dry. And look, we'll use this one that's already dry. And we'll let that one sit over there. I'm going to grab a paper towel here, Larry. Excuse me while I'm right. behind your face. Sorry about that, buddy. It's okay. Okay, and then we want to make sure that it's dried. So this other pine cone that we painted earlier is dry. So now it can come the fun part. We can add the white to make the tips of it look like it has snow falling on it. Would snow be nice? Yes. Actually, I, I'm, I'm quite good with the green Christmas, but that's because Mrs. Post is a bit of a Scrooge in her old age. Um, I like snow, but... I'm also good without it snowing. So anyway, so you now we want to paint the tips of snow on our pine cone. And what we're going to do is just take another paintbrush and dip it lightly in some white paint. And here you just want to come along the edges so that it looks like the snow has fallen on the edges of the pine cone. And come along here and here. And again, you don't have to put it on really heavy or really thick, depending on what kind of snowfall you had. Um, but you just kind of want to make sure you get the tip of every leaf here. I'm going to paint it green here in a minute if I'm not paying attention. 
and the more you paint it, the more heavy you put on it, it looks like the, the heavier the snowfall that fell. It doesn't have to be exact again, but try to get as much of the edges of the tips as you can. It looks very good. Does that look nice, Larry? You like that? Yes. What about you, Caesar? Do you like it? Oh, good. Okay, well, don't shake the camera too much. You're going to make everybody sick. All right. I think we've got just about all the tips here. And then you're going to want to let this dry as well. Just like that. So while that's drying then, we can go to the next step. The next step requires you then to take your length of ribbon and you're going to just make a loop out of it like so. And that looks really complicated, doesn't it? I know, it's hard. So now you have to pick if you want silver stars or gold stars. I think at the packets at the library, we've chosen for you, but I think we have a selection. So if you get there early, you can decide if you want a packet with silver stars in it or a packet with a gold star in it. Um, if you don't have these at home, just cut out stars out of gold or silver construction paper or just plain construction paper and pour glitter all over it. That's always fun. Just make sure you clean up the mess when you're Glitter's done. Mess. Glitter is messy. So since we did a gold one on our first one, we'll do a silver one this time just to do something different. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to peel off the backing of these foam stickers. And then you're going to want to stick it directly on top of the tree up against the top stem. I'm going to turn it around so you can kind of see what I mean by that. See how it's sticking to the top of the stem? And then you're going to place your ribbon directly on top of the stickiness of the star. Then peel off the backing from your other sticker. And this time we're going to place it directly on top of this one, but on the other side of the stem. See, you're doing really good. Did you get that? And then we're going to push the edges of the stars together so that they form a nice solid star. Just like that. That looks very cool. You like that? All right, last but not least, Larry, did you get the glue? Uh, okay, we're gonna pause the, the video a minute while we go get glue. I'll be right back. Okay, I, oh, oopsies. I, you got I the glue, glue now. now. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for getting that for Don't me. Put glue okay, boys and girls, so the next step you need to do with your pine cone is you want to put just a little bit of glue on your edges here. And you want to take your sequins, which are also provided in the craft kit, and you want to put them on. No, Millie. Millie, you need to go lay down. You can't eat lay glue. Down, Millie. Good girl, Millie. Glue you is not a food. Stay. You can't eat glue. Stay. So you want to turn it around and you want to put more sequins around here. And there's another nice spot right here we could put one on. And we'll put one on here. And we could put a couple more over here. Just like so. And um, if, your ha if your paint hasn't dried, I guess it's not the end of the world. It just might smear a little bit as you're putting your sequins on. So you really kind of want to wait till your pine cone treat has dried. And then you can add all kinds of sequins. So that when it's all done, it's all glittery and shiny and will um, sparkle with the lights from your Christmas tree that you hang it on at home. But like I said, you could also use these as place ornaments for your holiday meal if you'd like. Just put someone's name card in the top up here. That'd be kind of a cute idea. And so these are really simple, fun ideas to do for the holidays. So that's the pine cone Christmas tree. Do you like that, Larry? All right, good. And so these are going to move these out of here. And we're going to do our next fun craft which is our little blue truck. I am really excited about this one. I think he turned out really, really cute. It looks like somebody picked up their Christmas tree for Christmas and is taking it home. But like I said, sometimes it's hard to find little blue trucks. So if you have just regular um, small cars, Matchbox or Hot Wheels cars, whatever kind of cars that you have at home, you can use cars from the dollar store. Um, and like I said, at the Her Memorial Library, if you come pick up a craft kit, we've got cars included in each of your kits. And so it doesn't have to be a truck. You can use a station wagon or a sedan or even a regular car. We're just going to put the tree on the top. Larry, do you want to make one? Uh, yes. Do you want to make the blue station wagon or the yellow Jeep? I'll make the yellow Jeep. You'll make the yellow Jeep. Millie, you can't make one because like Caesar, you'll get glue in your paws. I know, and that would hurt. And you would, you know, I know you like to go bye-bye, but these aren't bye-bye cars. These are just play cars. How about you um, go take a nap? I know, really. Okay, so what you're going to need for these is you're going to need a car. You're going to need little miniature Christmas trees. 
Um, we did have to go to um, a store like Hobby Lobby or Michael's, a craft store, to procure these. You can also get them online if you order them. Um, I think that the big box stores also carry them, but I did not check there. Um, you're also going to need um, a pipe cleaner or a Chanel stick, depending on what you like to call them. You want to get that in green. Um, you're going to need more red ribbon. You can also use beads because we're going to be making a wreath. And if you don't want to make a, um, a ribbon, you can just put some beads inside of here for holly berries and that will work too. Um, you're also going to need um, some twine because for this car, we're going to have to tie the tree to the top because in a regular car, there's no way you could just lay a Christmas tree on top and expect it to go down the road just fine. No, it does, it does that. No, it doesn't. Silly Mary. Uh, okay. We're also going to paint some snow on top of our car. So you're going to need some Mod Podge or regular glue and some iridescent glitter, which also comes in the packet available from the library. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take that Mod Podge and glitter and mix it all together. So it makes a nice mess. But when you mix it all together like this, it does create a snow-like effect. Messy. Yes, it is very messy. And I'll show you guys how that's going to look in just a minute here. And last but not least, you're going to need these little metal rings. These are nine millimeter rings that we got from a, um, a craft store that specializes in selling things to make jewelry. Um, you could also probably use miniature washers if you have those at home. And we're going to be gluing that to the top of the vehicle so we can hang our ornament from the tree. If you want to just make your car Christmassy without turning into an ornament, you can forego with this last step. So let's get started, shall we, Larry? Are you ready? Uh, yes, I'm All ready. Right. You're very ready, aren't you? <laughs> All right, so here's your car, and here's my car. Caesar, can you see us over here? Yeah, you're good? Okay. So the first thing we need to do, Larry, is we need to paint some snow on our car. So what we're going to do is just go over the roof, roof, however you pronounce it. You can tell where the I'm hood from. Of the, car. the hood of the car. And up here on the top. And you can even put some, you want to make sure you get some of that sparkly glitter on there so that it looks like snow. And maybe you want to put some on the sides of the car. Maybe they just went through a really big blizzard, like so. And a little of this goes a long ways. So um, you don't have to go putting tons and tons and tons on here. And then you have to let it dry. Do you like me to paint yours, Larry, or you want to give it a go? Um, yes, could you do it? Sure. I know there's a bit of green paint on my, um, one of my fingers on my left hand. Oh, my. It's not that bad. I, I just wiped it off. Oh, good. All right. Well, we're just going to put it on the hood of your Jeep here and on Ooh. the fenders of the tires. Good. And a little bit on the doors here and on the back fender, maybe on the back tire of your Jeep. Everywhere that you would think that there might be some snow that might have accumulated. Okay. Yeah? Like that? Yes. You can even see now. I don't know if you can see that, Caesar. Can you see how it's kind of sparkly in the light? Good. Don't shake right. the camera, Caesar. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to let this dry here a minute. You can blow on it. Okay. And we'll just take a pause here and let it dry. Okay, so we've gone ahead and allowed our cars some time to dry. They're just about completely dry, so we can keep moving at this point. And what we're going to make now is the little wreaths. And those are really simple to make. You just want to take your, your pipe cleaner or your Chanel stick, and you want to kind of cut them into about one and a half to two inch lengths. And you're going to want two or three of these. And um, when you've got them all cut, then you just kind of want to twist them together. Larry, I'm going to go ahead and do yours since I have mine made already, okay? Okay. And what we do here is you just kind of twine them around each other and then just twist. And kind of like the old song, Twist and Shout, right? I do know that song. Okay. Well, I guess I'm dating myself. I I'm sorry. It's okay. We'll have to get you more cultured. Okay. Do you like to dance? No. Because it's an old dance song. No, I don't like to dance. Shake it up, baby, now. Shake it up, baby. Anyways. Okay. So it's an older song. Okay. But you'd have to twist. Can you twist? <laughs> I guess you can. Okay, so once you have your sticks all twisted, then you want to take your your um, pencil or your 
paintbrush. Paintbrush, thank you. And you just want to kind of wrap it into a circle around it. And we use that so we get a nice round circle. See? Ooh, very nice. Nice little round circle. And then, like I said, if you wanted to do the beads, we did include beads in our craft kit. Before you twist, put your beads on there and then twist them together. But I kind of like the way that the, um, the ribbon looks on these wreaths. So what I did is I just tied this ribbon into a bow. And what you're going to do is um, make sure the shiny sparkly side is out, is make a loop. And you don't want to tie a knot first, you want to just make the loop. And then you want to bring another loop through. I got um, time to remember when I was a kid. Around the tree and out bunny through the holes pops the rabbit. That's right. Kind of like making bunny ears. But you want to do it without the, um, oh, I'm sorry, without the knot in the middle. And right on through here. And so now this looks quite big and you don't want to pull it too tight because now we're going to adjust its size. And that's just done by slowly pulling it. Pulling on edges until you go to just the right size that you want and you want to pull it a little bit tighter here and then tighter and then pull the sides again and then again it's a little bit small and then just so that, I'm sorry Caesar is this kind of hard on your paws okay okay so when you get it nice and tight and small like that then you can take your ends and you're just going to trim them off I can tell my scissors have been used for paper and not for fabric. And so there is a tiny little bow. It was me. Actually, we're going to trim a little bit more off of that. That still looks a little bit big for what we're doing here. So we'll cut just a little bit more off. There we go. That's more what we're looking for. Ta-da! And then our next step is to take your hot glue gun or your craft glue, if that's what you have at home, and you just want to glue your bow on top of your wreath. And I'll do this for you too, Leary, because, you know, you don't have skin on those fingers. And I don't want you to get burned. This is something that we're going to have caregivers and adults be doing with kids. Not the little kids, if they're using a hot glue. And if you're using craft glue, then kids can certainly do it. But we don't want anybody to get hurt. So then you just put the glue on there and you put the little bows on top of your... Um, wreaths and there you are and if you get these little edges you can just take them off as well so that's how you make the wreath so you know where we put the wreath larry um on the front of the car on the front of the car that's right so again you're going to take your car and with your hot glue gun or your craft glue you're going to put a little bit of glue right on the front and then just take your wreath and pop that right on the front too Oops, make sure you don't stick your finger through the hole and then burn yourself. Careful. That, that will hurt. Trust me. Um, and then that's how that's attached. And we'll do it on the little car too. This time we'll do it without burning myself. Doesn't that sound like fun? That's probably a good idea. Yeah, I don't like burning myself. That hurts. I can't really burn myself that way. Because you don't have any skin. skin. Yeah. That's true. Maybe I should have had you do this craft. Okay, so there you can glue your wreath onto the front of your vehicle, like so. Oops. There. And now your wreath is on. You can adjust it as you see fit. To make it fit, again, it's just, it's just pipe cleaner wire, so you can bend it to make it fit if you need to. Alright, so once you've got the wreath on, the next step is to glue the tree on. So even though we're going to wrap the twine around it to make it look like it was um, secured with string, we're going to actually glue these on so they don't fall off while you're playing with it. So on the blue car here, we're just going to go ahead and run a bead of glue right across the top. And then we'll take our tree and we're going to look for the most flat side of it. And we're just going to glue him right on down. Like so. And on your Jeep, Larry wants us to make sure the bottom is glued down and the top. So we'll put a little bit of glue on that. I'm sorry, I'm very picky. You're fine. And then we'll glue it down. Careful. And we'll kind of smush it down. Don't burn yourself. I didn't burn myself. How does that look, Larry? Is that, that looks good? beautiful. Is that perfect? 
Better than perfect. Better than perfect. Okay. So there we are. Now, to give the illusion that our tree is adhered, we're going to take some twine that's also included in your kit. You want to wrap it around your car and your tree to make sure that it fits. You might even want to go around twice to really give that illusion that that tree is on there good. You like twice, Larry? Um, yes. Okay. Then take your scissors and cut where that line was so we know. And then you can, you guessed it, glue underneath the car as well. And so you're going to flip your car over. And with your hot glue gun, you're going to glue the twine to the bottom of your car. Just make sure you pull tight. It's going to get loose. We don't like that. No, nope, we don't want it loose. And then make sure you don't get it by the tires either because you still want the tires to be able to roll. And we'll put a little bit more glue here so we can fasten this one on as well. And pull tight again to hold that in place. You can always come back and trim the edges if you need to. We're going to trim this one out a little bit because it is a little bit longer. And then just push it down. There. How's that look, Larry? It looks great. Good? Okay. And then we'll do the same thing on the little blue car. Wrapping him around the tree like so. And we'll cut off our twine here. And we'll glue him on also. And once more on the back side with this. Pulling him tight. We want pulling him tightly around to get him to stick. There. Okay, so now, oops, all right. So now the last thing we have to do is we have to put our little ornament topper on. Do you want an ornament topper on yours? Um, we can take the string off, right? Yes. Oh, then sure, I have an ornament topper on mine. Okay, so what we're going to do for you, what we found, boys and girls, is that if we use craft glue or even hot glue for these ornament toppers, it does hold for a little while, but doesn't hold as effectively as super glue does. So if you have super glue, we recommend that you use super glue, and this is something that only a parent or caregiver should be doing Just to adhere, because if it sticks to your skin, it'll stick for a long time. So what you want to do is you want to figure out where you want to put your ornament topper, and these are really small, but I'm thinking right above your tree, Larry? Yes. Okay, so we're going to put a little drop of super glue on here, like so. And then we're going to put our ornament topper or our ornament hook holder on top. And you actually do have to hold this for a few minutes. Um, it takes a little time here to get it to sit into gel. You can sing the alphabet song. Do you know the alphabet song, Larry? A, B, C, Q, F, G, Z. Okay, we'll try that again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. What comes next? W. Really, Larry? Q. Q R S T U V W X Y N Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Okay. <laughs> okay. So that gets it set. And now you just need to leave it alone and let it dry. Let it dry really good for about 10 or 15 minutes, okay? And when that is dry, you can take a little bit more twine and figure out how long of a loop you want it to be, like maybe this long, which would be about, I think that is, six inches? Let's go with that. Okay, about six inches. And you want to cut that piece of twine and when it's dry, just feed it through the hoop and then wrap it around so you have two ends together like so. And you want to wrap that around your finger or around a pencil or whatever and then pull it over and through to make a nice little fisherman, what they call a fisherman's knot at the top. 
and there you have a loop so that when it's hanging through the loop there it can hang from your Christmas tree we have to let ours dry but as in my little blue truck one that's how that one looks but if you don't want to put an ornament hook on it you don't have to you can leave it just plain like our little car here and now you've got a little car you can play with you can also just rest it on your table this could also be a play center for your Christmas table or you can just sit it in your Christmas tree on a branch like so you don't necessarily have to hang it those are all options that you can do with our little blue truck Christmas ornament cars aren't these the cutest things I just love these I think these are great so there you have it boys and girls I hope you enjoyed our crafts today Thank you, Caesar, for filming. You did a really good job. And thank you, Larry, for helping. It was a pleasure working with you. No problem. All right. You guys have a good week. We'll see you next time. Bye.